someone who has been supporting roles and activists in the Sherry County. So uh, a lot of people have been on this floor, but not a lot of people have been inside this office. Amen. So with that being said, let us give our mayor a round of applause. Right. Uh, we wanted to do uh, something that was, I want to really highlight uh, Mr. Kennedy here. Uh, Y'all look like his family, cousin, young people. So uh, I want to recognize Mr. George Coleman. She can come and say a few words because we found out about uh, Mr. Lee from Ms. Coleman. He doesn't know about him. So he's going to stay up here.
you wouldn't know how many of these things here to come down to the food of Asia to see what the shit comes in and all of it. Our children mean a lot, and that's what Kenny has worked for. So the Crypto Palace, who you name it, he's always there. Mm -hmm. So Miss Betty Eiffel takes to be there. He's in the White Haven with Mr. Stephen Moore. Mm -hmm. He's over there with Mr. Keith Blitzer. It's all about him as a children. It ain't got nothing to do with it. Nothing else, but he loves those children. Mm -hmm. And when you love children like that, you deserve it. You know, this day, I am honored to stand here before you just say thank you. Mm -hmm. And I am proud of you. And we will always love you. Stay strong. Always remember where you've been and where you're going. There's a lot that's going to happen. I love you. I am with you one thousand of the rabbits here. Stop the rabbits. All right. Ooh. This means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. I have been doing community service for a very, very, very long time. And, you know, when I look at all the things I do, Crystal College, even serving at Judy Court as a general probation officer, working on the South Jersey Board, and then last working on the district court point, um, it's, it's, it's never an end of moment, you know. Um, working at Judy Court taught me a lot. Um, even when I did my television show, my television show was the community celebrities and dignitaries, but I took my television platform because so many young people in the city have talent, and I wanted them to be able to show their talent. And so I allowed them to come on Channel 17 and to, and to show their talent. But my work did mean that I continue to do community and work because I know that most of the time our elected officials, they don't have the time, you know. And so I said, I got to continue to do what I need to do to make a difference in this in Shelby County. And so, you know, working with the Wild of Tears, a lot of people don't understand that the Wild of Tears is much a different organization than so many other organizations that live in Shelby County. We deal with kids who have been And you gotta have a heart, number one, to deal with those parents, you know, grandparents after they lose a child, especially due to gun violence. Mm -hmm. And so me serving as the vice president of the Wild of Tears has taught me a whole lot. I've learned a lot. I've met a lot of people, and I said, you know, our work is never done. We get phone calls when a child gets shot. Now, when we get those calls, a lot happens at this point. And I realized that, you know, we have got to stand in the gap, and we have got to do what, what has to be done to serve this community, because a lot happens when a mother, a grandmother, an uncle, a cousin loses any loved one uh, due to gun violence, but especially kids. And so dealing with the, working with the Wild of Tears for over, what, six years? I remember when the Wild of Tears first got started, we were uh, at your restaurant on Lamar, and we were sitting there trying to come up. Initially, the Wild of Tears was formed for sickly kids in St. Jude. But with so many kids being shot and killed, we had to turn it over to, you know, dealing with the kids, you know, um, who, of course, being shot at the drug hours. I want to say this. Oftentimes, people ask me, Kennedy, are you going to, Stop doing real. I'll, I'll never stop. I'll never stop. I'm 34 years old, just in case you all do not know. And I've been doing community service since I can remember. I remember working with the White Haven Coat uh, very, very young. Uh, the Commercial Appeal recognized me in 2007 when I became, they listed me on the front page of the Commercial Appeal as one great kid. Um, they had a program called the White Haven uh, Coat Inn. And we would go out on Saturdays and we would do paper pickup. We would just find any neighborhood to just go and do paper pickup. And when we first started, there was a lot of kids involved. And we got all the way down to about three kids. And then I was the only one, me and Dr. Javon Nelson, out there picking up paper in a different neighborhood. And so I know what it is to be out there to do community work, to do community service. So I am honored today to get this key mean a, a whole lot to me. I want to thank all of you all for coming. Ms. Mary, oh my God, I see some faces I wasn't expecting to see. And then Danielle, Danielle is a mucus promoter, oh my God. So glad to see you on Web Miss Bella Ice with the Stop the Killing 25 Long Years. Also, my good friend uh, uh, Deborah, Deborah Conway worked with me at Juvenile Court. So glad to see her here. So, a lot of faces that I haven't saw in a very, very long time. Zelda, when I worked at DIA, I got a chance to meet <laughs> Zelda. Lord, how much working with Colin and Janice Fuller Love uh, back in the DIA. So, I didn't spit the block, as they say. I didn't, I didn't do <laughs> I have been around for radio, the TV, to doing work in the community I've been around. I remember, and I'm going to say this, when I first started uh, getting into community service, I was working with a former wrestler, so 
former state senator uh, Catherine L. Bowers. Mm -hmm. I was 16 years old driving back and forth from Memphis to Nashville, and I didn't know, you know, what it was working with this senator. I just needed a summer job and didn't want to be in trouble. And that's something that I said we have got to do. These young people, they have nothing to do. So the least we can do is try to give them some sense of hope. And I hope that my journey, you know, has hope, hopefully will inspire and encourage some other people to know that, you know, this kid from straight out of fair in the high school, you can make it, you can do it. It's up to you. My motto is if you believe you can truly achieve it. Right. So I'm so thankful, I'm so honored, and I thank all of you all for coming out today. All right. All right. Oh, thank you. Really big sister. 